Welcome back to Income Trading 101. And today is Saturday, May the 15th, 2021. I just want to take a look at Ethereum Classic today. Um, we're going to do our normal analysis, but we're going to pull this all the way back just to get a sense of when this launched. So we've got data back to we've got data back to uh, mid 2018, and you had some price volatility then. The problem is that the current price uh, makes it look like. <laughs> Like before, uh, we'll call it April, that this thing barely moved. It's just that it's gone. This thing went parabolic in May. It's pulled on back. So let's take a closer look at that move and see where it might be today. Um, and of course, you know, one of my things is when you have limited batches of, uh, when you have so few, so little data, definitely going to the lower uh, time frames. Will, will help us uh, figure out what's going on. So I'm just gonna pull this back to roughly a year for now. And we're going to go ahead and do our analysis. So love starting off with some moving average averages. This just for me always just sets the base. It's like the basis of where are we versus where we've been. So let me switch this on up right now like I always do. I like to make myself adjust these on every time. You can set within uh, most trading, uh, most trading uh, software. You can set these up, uh, set your parameters so that they always come back to the way you like it. Um, I actually like doing it by hand. Uh, just, just kind of mentally gets me going. All right, so of course, given this parabolic move at the daily, we're going to see uh, still a very strong bullish pattern. I mean, it's quite a bit um, bullish. You've got actually price action below the 10 day, but the 10 day is higher than the 20, it's higher than the 60. Let's kick this down to the hour just to see where we are. So here, funny enough, you still have a bullish pattern. The 10 and the 20 are close, but the 10 is still above the 20 and significantly higher than the 60 day. I'm sorry, the 60 period. When we get to the 30 minute, you see your first uh, what I call um, uh, period of uh, congestion with the 10 in between the 20 and the 60. And I imagine the uh, the 15, given this recent pull up, might be the same. Oh, so the 15 minute actually is showing more of a bearish move, even though um, this recent uh, these past uh, green bars that we've seen this morning, really today, um, uh, are, are, are most likely going to pull this back uh, into the positive. But um, interesting, you've got, you know, kind of curious about some of the uh, some of the structure that's developing. Anyway, um, definitely have, you know, the farther out you go or the bigger time frames have uh, a far more, uh, a much more significant bullish pattern here and then you have a bearish uh, pattern uh, here in the 15 minute and you had in the 30 minute a little bit of congestion with the 10 day or the 10 period between the 20 and the 60. Let's uh, kick this back out to the day and we'll go to the MACD next. Just get a sense of momentum. And let's do that. So of course the daily um, you're gonna see just, I mean, the move that was made in, in the first part of May, the first week of May for Ethereum Cash was so significant that you really, in mean, the daily is just, it's gonna always be overwhelmingly bullish. Even in the hourly, you have right now some oscillation that's happening. You had a crossover, um, actually, uh, this actually isn't bad. Um, you had this crossover that happened two days ago on the 13th and it pulled it went into positive territory. You could have gotten in this um, using this signal and probably hopped in right around here, maybe caught a few of these uh, nice green bars. And then this this is um, this crossover is pulling down. The MACD is a bit of a lag. I mean, a, a, a bigger lag, I think. So you really have to figure out how you're going to use it for trading. 
like right now even though it's still showing um we had it this this right here this this crossover that we got on may the 14th uh yesterday afternoon is actually uh that is a sell signal but i don't trust selling it until it crosses into uh into negative territory because it can oscillate um below and just once it's trending in a direction it's going to be hard to, it gets harder to use the macd you definitely want to flip up the switch up the time frames and see if you see something different so we did have this bearish this is the perfect example of what i'm talking about you have a, a bearish uh crossover that happened yesterday morning and we're just going to kind of oscillate around because that's what price is doing it's really a lot harder i think to use this is a uh, as a as a trading signal until it crosses here you had a nice little cross um and but you've already got a bullish cross happening so this might actually be for people that are looking to be more aggressive using maybe a, like i always like to enter using the shorter time frame and maybe that can work um on the crosses as well you wait for a shorter cross like a, the cross that literally just happened um in ethereum uh, cash on the 15 minute could be a bullish cross and then uh you would manage it using the, the 30 minute i'm gonna kick this out to the daily once more and let's see we're gonna get rid of this so right off the bat i want to pull back i'm going to do a little fibonacci retracement of we'll call this the uh the some of these 20 the the, the 20 uh 20 start to where we are now just to get a sense of how much we've actually pulled back off of the high um i mean this is pretty incredible i love when people say oh crypto's done you know you've got the we already hit these this high or that high and it's like no look i mean here's yet another example so of uh, this high will likely go back so you had a high close to 175 right we pulled all the way back to the 50 percent below the 50 percent retracement um and then have pulled back above it to where we have touched the 38 percent this i'm i'm to me this is this is very bullish um and he, the reason i think it's bullish is that the 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 price action that's happened in many of the other coins that have looked this way um while not all of them have retested their highs they most likely will it's happened every time thus far and we have an overall bull market um in 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 global uh, you know glo global economy right now so when it looks when you get a pattern like this this nice sell-off to me that's just you know people who uh weren't necessarily believers they probably held for a while they caught this and they went ahead and uh and and, and took cash because it's not like you can short these but this pullback might actually be indicative of of a uh you know a, a further bull market let's go down to the four hour just to take a look so yeah and i could show you this uh this channel lower and it looks like we have already bounced out of that and are looking to uh go ahead now and get into you know another period higher so i'm uh let's do this too I mean, you can do that, but the truth of the matter, like if I stop there, I'm ignoring so so much of this, right? The truth was that was likely it, um, right there, and we've gone beyond. We've gone beyond that that area. This is to me. This does uh, look bullish. Um, so uh, Ethereum Cash may be uh, may have already pulled back, but. I, can't say when but i'm betting it's going to test retest its high uh retest the high so um if this one of the ones is this a uh, uh 
let me know um, in the comments if this is a product that you trade yourself. Um, I always love getting comments from people who who uh, are in it for a reason or not. You know, I look at charts and decide where, where to allocate my funds. But um, if you are, uh, if this has been one of your long term investments, one of your long term trades, let me know. Um, if you managed to catch this nice uh, parabolic action that just happened two weeks ago, congrats. Um, and uh, I'm going to be looking for the next one. So, <laughs> hey, if, if you've got, if you also have a, a coin or a token that you think is about to go parabolic, uh, put it in the chat, put it in the comments rather, so that I know to take a look at it. And we'll make a nice little video for everyone and uh, see if we can, um, you know, catch the, uh, catch the next run. All right. Hey, thank you so much for watching these videos. Hope you have a great day. And as always, happy trading.